Hey, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'll bring you in real quick. Um, give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. Um, stick around. You never know what could happen on one of these rides. Seriously. You never know what could happen. Anything could happen. So, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, like, all that um, nonsense that the YouTube algorithm likes. And um, I'll bring you back in when I um, get out into the countryside someplace. So, yeah. Hang out a few minutes. Um, I'll be there shortly. And um, like I said, you never know what's going to happen on one of these rides. All right. So, welcome back to the channel. It is December 1st. 25 days or 24 days until Christmas. Hoping Santa Claus brings me some nice Cerro driving lights. <laughs> It is a beautiful, uh, oh, just popped up to 77 degrees. Humidity is nil. And I'll tell you, you know, November is gone. And November is Men's Mental Health Month. And I will tell you, this past November, it really tested my resolve. You know, losing two family members back to back, literally within a week of each other. Um... My wife's continuing back issues, and uh, she came down with COVID again. She's she's still fighting it. I mean, she's on the mend. She's uh she's much better than she was yesterday, and better than the day before that. So she's turned the corner. She's not contagious anymore. That's why I am out because she's no longer contagious, and I have run the gauntlet with her I have gone past the required you know what is it uh, 10 days whatever it is so we're good there but yeah so what is on you folks Christmas list anything good motorcycle parts new guns New motorcycles. What have you? Need a little air there. Need to catch a little air. So yeah. I can tell you I sure was glad to get out of the month of November. It was a... Uh, Slept on an air mattress for, I don't know, four or five nights. That, that's absolutely dreadful. Didn't matter how firm I made it or how, I guess, soft and squishy I made it. It was just dreadful. The recliner was good for about an hour and a half and that's it. Bam. Then you're all just twisted up in a knot no matter what position you put the recliner in. That's just, that gets old after the second night. So I was going back and forth between the two. So. Just you guys a little bit. You seem to be moving around a little bit. Alright, that seems a little better. So, we're into a new month. We had our, uh, oh, and hurricane season is over. Don't have to worry about hurricanes no more. Hurricane season ended yesterday. <laughs> so, got that going for me. So do you, uh, any of you uh, guys and gals have any big uh, aspirations for what you're going to buy yourselves for Christmas? Because let's face it, we're adults. Christmas is every day if we so choose. Hey, cow. What are you doing? What's up, cow? You looking at me? Want to be on my dinner plate someday? I bet you do. Hi, 
I like getting silly every now and then. If I can't be silly, life would be boring. My wife will tell you I'm a joker. I'm a clown. Oranges seem to be growing, but they're very small. These are small oranges. I, I really haven't seen any big ones here in Florida, other than in the supermarket. So, where was I before I was interrupted by that bovine? Oh yeah, Christmas. What's on your wish list? What are you buying yourselves? What have you already bought yourselves? How do you celebrate Christmas? You go all out with the outside decorations and Christmas tree and Boy, that's a nice hidden house in there. So you go all out with the uh, Christmas tree and outside decorations and all that stuff. I can understand doing it for your kids if you got kids and I mean if, if you're into that but you know I, I kind of grew out of it a few years ago I mean you know my my big holiday was uh, Thanksgiving I always loved Thanksgiving family together but geez we've all grown apart some of us are pretty estranged from one another and I don't know, it just doesn't, uh, where are you going, Mr. Birdie? Oh, jeez, did I hit him? I did hit him. I hope he's okay. Let's make a U-turn. Uh, I want to make sure he's all right. Don't want to go in a gully. Did I hit that poor birdie? Jeez, I feel bad about that. I don't like doing that. Really, I wasn't even going that fast. I wasn't even sure what kind of bird that was. Alright, well, I don't see him, so I guess he's alright. Wow, this road's narrow. Holy crap, this road's narrow. My street's wider than this. Yeah, I don't see him down in the ditch. Didn't see him over there. Oh, that was crazy. See that? That's another road hazard that you're going to be worried about is uh, birds. Yeah, he, I hit him good. He knocked my mirror in. Wow, that's... Hope the bird's okay. Seeing where we were talking about uh, Christmas, maybe that was a partridge. Seeing where I don't know what one looks like. Yep, yeah. Got my mirror. I seem to be back on track. <laughs> so, I think the bird escaped unscathed. You never know what's going to happen when you're out here on the road. I could only imagine how that would have felt at 65, 70 miles an hour. Luckily, I was only going 45, 50. So, hmm. -mm. My train of thought is kind of ruined. <laughs> you wonder why, huh? All right, uh, let me get my train of thought back. Where was I? Do not know. Oh well, yeah, what are we expecting to buy ourselves for Christmas? Uh, what are we asking our spouses to buy? Uh, if it's okay if we buy something. I know I told my spouse Months ago, I said, you know, I sent her a link to the Ciro 3 driving lights. They're uh, brutally expensive, and um, 
I really haven't found anything out there that's comparable to them and these things are super highly rated so I don't know so if anybody has any suggestions on uh, something that's comparable to the Ciro driving lights that um, a lot of people are running like Adam Sandoval and a couple of those other guys um, you know cue, clue me in let me know in the comments down below oh and hey give me a big thumbs up if you like this video um, like the channel subscribe all that happiness you know it helps get some views I've gotten a few views in the past week but thank you I appreciate you all for subscribing as always so but anywho That's about it. I don't have much else to say. Um, just been kind of laying pretty low key, you know, since uh, Thanksgiving ish a week ago. I mean, uh, my wife and I helped cook some food for the uh, Thanksgiving at the at our church. I mean, I cooked a big turkey and I made you no. Know, 12 pounds of stuffing and some homemade cranberry sauce and uh, it was uh, my turn to give back oh and I, oh, I was talking about I know before the bird incident I was talking about Christmas and uh, Thanksgiving yeah thanks you know don't do Christmas much I haven't in a few years you know I mean few of you you know that know me no, I lost my son in 2020 and his favorite holiday was Thanksgiving and so Thanksgiving is still my favorite holiday but that's neither here nor there it just uh, I don't know Christmas and putting up the lights and putting up the tree uh, I don't know it seems like a big bother for you know 20 days 25 days even if you're going to January you know carried into them you know maybe 30 days 40 days just seems like a bother I mean don't get me wrong I'm not a Grinch it's it's just not my thing anymore you gotta rearrange a whole house move furniture here and there and every other thing just man I'll look at my neighbors I'll go stand at the end of my driveway and look up and down the street. They all do a good job. Oh, here we are. The wooden big bridge from the opposite direction. See what we can see. Not much of anything. It's just a wooden bridge. Nope. So that's that. I forgot I'm um, coming the back way up that road I found there. New post road, the back half of it. Came up at the back way. I'll give you guys something else to look at. He even caught a bird, how about that? Glad the video camera was running for once, or not. So yeah, why don't you comment down below and um, let me know what your expectations are for Christmas and which holiday do you like better? Thanksgiving? Christmas? Well, it's not too often you see the ore train there you go. Nice. we can go so that's 
that's about it. I don't have nothing else. Just in November was a tough month and December and uh, New Year is coming up. And I'm uh, hoping to uh, break this plateau, weight plateau I've been on. I've been stuck here, you know, up and down eight miles a month for, geez, it seems like an eternity now. I think it's got to be going on close to nine months. I've been stuck between 247 and, you know, 255, I think it is, 254. You know, just about eight pounds a month I'm going up and down. I only weigh myself on the first of the month, so I will do that tomorrow, even though it's today, but I kind of kind of screwed the pooch on weighing myself because I got up and I instantly drank an entire bottle of water and that was that so wasn't going to about to get a true weight so I'll do it tomorrow morning well I'm hoping to lose another 15 pounds hopefully I can do that by July my back is feeling better I can uh, get back to my cardio and uh where I'll be turning 65 I'll be able to do the silver sneakers and get a free gym membership I can go in and I can start lifting some real weights all right well I think I've kept you folks long enough I uh, probably bored some of you to tears uh, probably saddened a few of you as I didn't mean to do it and anyhow well, let me just say thank you for watching thank you for subscribing as usual give me a big thumbs up you know, comment down below what you want to see for Christmas, what your aspirations are. And um, I will be back on Tuesday with another video, God willing. So, in the meantime, thank you again, and as always, peace and God bless.